we spent a large period of our lives overweight. And we learned a lot of interesting things along the way. No matter how well you think you treat people or how well you think we've evolved to accept people of all shapes and sizes, people treat you very differently when you're not in a good shape. Is it the sweat, the BO, being forced to wear baggy shirts that don't really fit you? On the one hand, you have the people who can stay fabulous no matter what. Cheers, sweetie. I haven't eaten anything since 1973. On the other hand, you have the be kind crowd. People tell you you are beautiful inside and out, but you don't feel beautiful, far from it. They tell you that you're just as healthy and that you should be proud of your body. You don't feel that proud. Most of the time, you don't feel that healthy either. And then you get typical comments like, when did you try eating less or joining a gym? From everyone who thinks they know better. Like they would find it so easy to muster the courage to go to the gym and join the classes, keeping up with all those fit, attractive people around you, while you are sweating and panting like a wheezing hog. We've all been there. We know it's not much fun. The mainstream advises you to go nice and steady, do your aerobics, drink your protein shakes, take your multivitamins, like all good sheep. <laughs> We have a different approach called Belly Proof, designed to take you from something like this to something like this in as little as five weeks. So, if you surround yourself with these types of people, if you want to lose the weight, get yourself into some green beans and yoga. We suggest you sit back with your popcorn, take some notes because fat loss will never look the same again. In our first three videos, we revealed our own body transformations and explained the basics of fat breaking. We also explained what makes stubborn fat so damn stubborn and our Lion Nutrition Protocol, which finally frees you of the dreaded calorie count. In this video, we are first gonna look at how the five-week program works and how anyone can do it, even on unsociable schedules. We are then going to take a deep dive into the science and explain how fat breaking and fat burning work. Specificity is the name of the game here, and we are happy to show you how specific things should get. After this, we invite you to watch the remaining videos in our series, where we cover our movement first approach, the science behind building muscles, and also anti-aging science for what we call club mitochondria. Not sure where to find them? Link below. Okay, let's do this. Before you start the five weeks fat loss program, you have to do a quick preparation. This takes about an hour and it's essentially about making sure you are ready for the first day. You will be taking your before photo, learning the exercise routines for the first day, making sure your meal prep is all good to go with our Lion protocol without counting a single calorie. And also, printing your workouts. There are four workouts optimized for fat loss and they are very different to anything you've ever tried before. Workout number one is Moby's absolute favorite. That's all the prep you need to get going and it's about an hour. If you're not looking to start the program right now, you can also do the long prep, which is incredibly easy to follow. It focuses on strengthening your starting block, meaning more mitochondria, better gut health, and better fitness levels right from the get-go. We also use this time frame to work on specific muscle parameters so that you can finish your five-week challenge looking even sharper. It's up to you. If you have the time, we can help you build more muscle, more mitochondria, and better fitness levels. Which means you can have better workouts and lose more fat from day one of your five-week challenge. Holiday around the corner? If you haven't got the time and want to start the challenge right now, that's fine. Just do the one hour prep to learn the basics. And even then we will help you utilize every resource to get you the best results possible. Once you finish the short prep, you start your five weeks belly proof challenge. It's designed so that everyone can do it. Men, women, young to old, fit and obese, and everyone in between. 35 days with a really clever design, allowing you to adapt it to your own schedule. On the last day, you take your final photo. Bye, bye! Don't forget to smile. 
it's not possible to predict how much you're going to lose. This is something we cover in detail in some of our other videos. But many people have kindly shared their results on the website. So you can check it yourself and see what could be possible for you in those five weeks. As part of keeping track, we always encourage you to take photos because the most motivating thing you can do for yourself is to see your body changing and quickly. 35 days, no ifs, no buts. If you can just commit to that, you can expect great results. When the five weeks are over, we recommend taking a few days off. Go and have a burger, a pizza, or something else you've been craving. But just go easy, yeah? You can then decide to continue with our program, round two, which is adaptable to help you work even faster and lose any body fat you still want to lose. Or you can maintain your new low body fat percentage while working on other goals, like building muscles, working a skill like playing sports or calisthenics, or even working on your longevity and well-being. Going back to the five weeks, we want you to be really proud of your results and feel really great about yourself. By giving you all the tools and helping you optimize the program to your own schedule, we've designed a unique system to help you achieve just that. The system will help you configure a few schedules as needed. For example, if you're working in the office three days a week, two days from home and two days off, we got you covered. Same if you're working complex shifts like 12 hour days or 12 hour nights. It's really gonna help you manage everything the best way your schedule will allow. Just as an example, here is the schedule we would follow, but this is just one example of many. We would be eating dinner around 7 p.m., going to sleep around 11.30 p.m. and waking up around 8 a.m. A quick coffee, a few minutes of mobility, and you're ready to start your day. A little later, say, 10 a.m., we would start our workout, either at home, in the gym, or outside. It's up to you. This means we are training after fasting for about 15 hours, which is great. We wait as long as we possibly can with our first meal. In the meantime, we try and stay busy and active, take Moby for a walk, do some gardening, or even go for a swim. If it's a hot day, maybe even in the sea. Why not? When we can't wait any longer, we have our super awesome belly poop salad and Moby has his. Usually that's about 3 p.m. So if we finished our workout at about 11 a.m., that means we are fasting for an extra four hours, which is very optimal. Then back at 7 p.m. for dinner. We are lucky in that we can control our own times, but anyone can do it. Most people find it easier to train before they go to work, have a late lunch, have their salad, and then wait till they get home and have their dinner. We've had a ton of requests and always found a way to make the schedule work for working people. Everyone has different circumstances, schedules and time to dedicate. Whether you can do the bare minimum or commit to more, we have an optimized system to help you push your result as far as possible. So you can be really proud of what you've achieved in five weeks. It's that simple. And in the unlikely event that you get stuck, we are always here to help. Here's a quick word from our customer service manager, Karen. Bonjour, how may I help? Moment. The answer is no. Ugh, ugh, mad. Okay, now that you know what to expect, we want to explore the science a little deeper. But before we do, please know that this is not needed for you to succeed. We simply want to give you the option to understand it on a deeper level. We trust you've watched the previous three videos in our series. If you haven't, it's a good idea to pause and watch them first. Here we go. So, first things first. Hess, Adri and Gramona. Who and what are they? They all have multiple functions and we can't cover everything they do or pretend to know it all. Not when they are the subject of continued ongoing research. We will just focus on what we know about them in relation to fat loss. Starting with Tess. Tess is important for both men and women, but it's more pronounced in men. For the ladies in the crowd, it's less about testosterone and more about Adri and Gramona. And it certainly doesn't mean you're gonna look anything like this. <laughs> Tess has more to do with fat distribution. Men and women with lower levels experience more fat gain around the hips, for example. By inhibiting adipocyte differentiation and lipoprotein lipase, both of which are connected to fat gain, TESS helps you prevent this and stay leaner. 
My next heroine is Gramona. She is released a few times daily in peaks. Generally, the largest peak is around one hour after you've fallen asleep, which is part of the reason you can lose fat through the night. Gramona does trigger lipolysis or fat breaking directly. But the biggest way Gramona helps us is by stimulating a significant increase in HSL or hormone sensitive lipase, which mediates the breaking of triglycerides into free fatty acids. HSL is seen as the rate limiting factor for lipolysis, which basically means it controls how much fat you can ultimately break. The way Gramona is engaged is primarily by increasing blood lactate levels, which you may be more familiar with as lactic acid. Once Gramona has peaked through increased blood lactate, levels stay significantly elevated for about 40 minutes. You also enjoy higher peaks during the day. Lastly, the star of the show will fight or flight heroin, Adri. Adri, or adrenaline, is the most direct way to break fat. If she binds to the antilipolytic alpha-2 receptors, nothing happens and she goes to waste. If, on the other hand, she binds to the beta-adrogenic receptors, she initiates a series of reactions. These are important biochemical reactions, from cyclic AMP to HSL to activating enzymes called lipases. The result is the content extraction of fat cells, triglycerides, which are then hydrolyzed into their building blocks. Each triglyceride breaks down into one glycerol and three free fatty acids. These fatty acids can now be used for energy in what we call fat burning, a process known as beta oxidation, which happens in the mitochondria. The belly proof workout structure. We start from a long fasted state. This creates a series of favorable conditions, the primary ones being increased potential for ADRI, fight or flight, as well as inhibition of your alpha-2 receptive monsters. We start the workout with a 30 second round of high intensity. That's all it takes to kickstart the process, release ADRI and top you up with fuel for the next part. We do it by targeting 2B muscle fibers in explosive actions. The resulting release of fatty acids, along with the little reserves of glycogen in our muscle fibers, fuel the next 10 minutes, known as the HEH10. These are 10 minutes where we balance muscle activity, primarily type 2A muscle fibers. We train continuously at a hard enough pace to create muscle burn or lactic acid, yet not hard enough to create fatigue. We don't want to burn you out after all. At this point, Gramona is elevated to a peak, which optimizes your ability to break fat. These conditions will last for about 40 minutes. We take a breather, maybe two, three minutes, then we get back to work. This time we work hard at releasing ADRI with highly targeted interval training using explosive sets. ADRI has a half-life in the body of about two minutes, which means you have exactly this time to benefit from her. By four minutes, she's gone. With ADRI high in the blood, we move to increase blood circulation to our most stubborn areas. Time is of the essence here. We only have a few minutes to drive as much blood full of ADRI into our most stubborn subcutaneous fat. And this is also a great opportunity to increase the oxygen levels in the blood. Now that we have extracted and broken triglycerides from fat cells, we have fatty acids in the blood. We now proceed to burn them a process known as beta oxidation. At this point, the fatty acids are near the fat cells we extracted them from. We could technically just exercise and pull the blood into every remote muscle where they can burn, but it would make sense for them to travel a shorter distance, allowing them to burn faster. Since we are focused on losing belly fat, the closest burning sites are your core muscles, and so we proceed to do reflexive core stability training. We then pull them further using full body stability training to recruit the maximal amount of type one muscle fibers and pull the fatty acids directly to the place where they can burn most easily. There, they're going to enter the mitochondria and be converted into ATP with the help of oxygen. Of course, the more fat you can break and the more mitochondria you have, the more fat you can lose. This is how we get people from something like this to something like this in as little as five weeks. We follow this with a few more cycles of fat breaking, releasing a lot of Adri, sending her with the bloodstream into stubborn tissue and balancing it with clever fat burning without inducing too much fatigue. 
this is how we use the 40 minutes where Gramona is elevated to give you that serious boost. In the extended version of the program, we also have the muscle development options, calisthenics, and more sets of fat breaking and burning for those of you who want to put the extra in extra. Extra bro. Oh. We follow a similar routine, but shift things differently to avoid fatigue. Fatigue is one of the most challenging aspects when it comes to program design, because if you're on the floor half dead, you're no good to anyone. Last but not least, we try to stay active. With fatty acids still in our blood, we try and burn as much of them as possible until we feel like we really need to eat something. At that point, we have our super awesome belly proof salad. And that's when the fat burning stops. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this makes more sense now. If you're impressed, confused, have questions or comments, please do leave us a line in the comment section below and we'll do what we can to help. Our next video in this series is about muscle building. If you ever wondered whether there's more to muscle building than just lifting and eating protein, this next one is packed with insight and you won't want to miss it. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, click to subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell. And till next time, stay... Oh, that's revolting! Oh, Melody! All I said was if you want to lose a little bit more weight, get yourself into some green beans! Ooh!